Harry actually took a dink, but not as much damage as you would expect. Uh, more of a, a parting gift, and now Lord is spotting a whole bunch of players running towards his location as they push through that smoke and deal with him. Barry showing no signs of slowing down, keeping that form into this map as well as he carves a path through two players, and Pimp watches the back, meaning that Sponge has been sent packing in case you now all alone in this world with four players to classic, but they use their numbers and scaled in very nicely, pushing it inside the underground. And this is a full commitment here from Nade King to, to as, do as much damage as they did, considering the weaponry was already a phenomenal task, but I'll see if they can actually get one on board with proper weaponry. A lot of good utility from either side, so no one's skipping a beat in terms of the protocols and what type of control is desirable in these early stages of the round. I think it's safe to say, Yumi, it's been a great day for the Danes so far in our tournament. Barry and Pim both pulling their weight. A miss from Lackey. That's one that he's going to not want to remember anytime soon. A bit of a gimme. Misses out, now puts Sponge in an awkward position. Picks up the scope. We saw he had quite a bit of success on Cobblestone with the AWP, so he's definitely not to be trifled with. Throwing down that extra smoke just to try and delay a little bit longer. But now the grenades are coming in. Sponge misses his chance. How deadly that could be. Well placed flashes though will keep the CTs at bay as Sponge has now been found and fragged from Nexus' hands. And that will open up the floodgates onto the B site. And it's unlikely that Nade King's team want to try and pull this one out the bag because they have nowhere near the finances to back it up. That'll be a heartbreaker round there for Sponge. Uh, I think he understands. He gets that kill. It, it, it immediately pressures the only pixel side to either accelerate or fall back away from that B bomb site because of how hesitant they were to move past that entrance to B smoke. Get that kill. It's a whole different story. There's no player to, to be flashed in and, and deal with him. So a little upsetting for sure, but Team Oni Oni Pixel will take that as they go. And you're highlighting the fact that the two Danes have had a great day so far. They were the ones that won all, uh, a couple of the clutches as well. The pistol clutches, I think, we're, we call back to overpass. Yeah, that's right. There's Barry over there. Anybody gets tempted to do so, Ana's the only one with the AWP, so... We have to take a few chances, but... Again, I think all about establishing early leads before you even consider these challenges. I feel like Nade King has the, the worst bounty out of all of them. Getting killed by a nade, way easier than having to assassinate someone with a Negev or kill them through a wall. I know Oni Pixel did fall victim to that in the, the last overpass showing, but Nade King's got a target on his back, so stay away from any sort of early B control. This has lived up to the, the mantle that I was expecting, that it would be the highest quality Counter-Strike that we've seen so far in terms of the utility that's being thrown in right now. Absolutely. Well, off business on a secondary. Easy enough trade there for a Timoni Pixel. Brackets control fully taken, and Sponge will lose his duel too. Barry trying to remain elusive around that smoke. It's not as though Lackey has a lot of HP to take this fight, so it's all about who lands the first bullet and Barry strikes first. Lackey is so tempted with the idea of just sitting between those two smokes in at Moto, but one fades faster than I think he anticipated. Four on one and Kasu is already moving to save. This has been a pretty one-sided affair so far. The kills have not been coming in for Team Nade King, you look at how much money is being built up on this T side, it is getting to be quite considerable. The, the devastating aspect of this as well, as we were discussing uh, in the pregame segments, were that Nade King is still in with a chance of qualifying. It's the top four teams. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, Yumi, but I believe it's a, a bit of a lopsided one. Obviously, Loba and Oni Pixel coming into this are both... Or is seemingly caught out by it. Now, the good news for Oni Pixel is that just before he died, he dropped all of his grenades. So he's not going to lose any of them. Drop them to his teammates. There was a huge flurry of HEs early on. It was Nexa and Oni Pixel have both got obliterated by them. You can see Nexa's still alive, but he's the walking wounded on 33 HP. So one of the best starts that we've seen, though, from Nade King. And these are the kind of rounds you meet. If they want to bring it back as you were talking, you've got to convert these opportunities. Peeling away from the A-bomb site, so all signs would indicate that the B site will see Siege. 
elevated position as well for a sponge, so he'll be the one to take first contact. Lackey sitting in a bait position on, on second oranges, just waiting for the right time to pull the trigger. Waiting for Oni Pixel to actually move out into this site. Molotov in, it won't spread to Lackey's position, so it's all about whether Sponge can hold the fort just for a little longer. Extra tag damage, Nexa still surviving, even though he took bullets on that initial spray. Lackey, will they be clearing for him? No, no one's looking his direction, so Lackey has an opportunity to get multiple frags, but only gets one. And Lord and, N and Nade King trying so hard to peel back the numbers even further, but Anna and Pimp are who remain, and... Lord was the only one that was subjected to a pistol, so this upgraded weapon has to be the one that throws the spanner in the works. This has to be a full stick plant, and it has to be coverage. Right now, is anyone going to answer the call? And I mean, that's the second time. You can see on the timer at the top there, 10 seconds left angle to deny the bomb plant and not the right weapon either. But how many opportunities the Nade King needs to finally get one on the board? They're running out of oh. time. Lackey's down bottom B and Pimp has no idea, but there's so many players around the corner. Pimp will strike and get two. Does he even know that there's another person right behind them? He's waiting and playing trigger discipline. Lackey he has the fastest flag and Anna's gonna get jump scared with the bomb. <laughs> what is going on? HG now to Lackey. He's been dealt with, sent packing accordingly. Now with the smoke, they can try and fend off. But both CTs have pushed on the CT side. Now, I'm not sure if Pimp saw both. I think he only spotted Kesu. So at this stage, Barry may be unsure as to whether he should put CT or not. But obviously the confidence is flowing through his veins. He sprays him for one, but there is Nade King. Smoke down onto the pit will allow her to stay in position. There's the look. Smoke also tossed out. They want to try and brute force their way out into the site, but they're running dry on numbers. They need Oni Pixel to have some impact here. And he's being spammed up from the pit side. Good counter flash also tossed in. This is so much better from the CTs. And although they may still lose some casualties, it's looking so unlikely that the T's can push their way onto the site when you have a player in pit, you have two on the site, and also a third contingent player, Lackey, is ready to rotate back around the side here. If they're going to pull this one off, it has to be the first pick, and Pimps missed his chance, flopped his lines, and will be sprayed down from above from Nade King. From the uh, aggressing T's, and then Kazoo is able to, to use his teammate Nade King to divert even the pixel, lose out in the, the sort of global challenge. The pixel was killed through a wall, so 500 into the pockets of every single one of the Nave King players. Perfect calibration is now in effect. Mikey will once again get the action started, and he just holds on to bottom B, just spamming away through that smoke, and they keep trying to challenge it. Lord will also get involved. And looking like we might start to see Nade King here. Ebb and flow in the opposite direction. You can see that Pimp was naded into oblivion. They tried to flash him in, but it didn't really afford or yield anything in return than a great spray from Lackey. And I, I might be huffing. Like this, this duality to almost draw on where either where you go, Sue or Lackey, the two pro players here for Team Nade King are going to have their impact. So the new challenge that popped up is to fig a plant on one site and then go and plant in the other. So it's pros fake. We haven't seen too many fakes so far, though, uh, you mm -hmm. on this map. It's been pretty direct uh, to the point, straight in the face. And speaking of which, you were just singing his praises, the classic caster's curse. Lucky is the first to fall to the hands of Nexa. So they've lost that big hitter, but Nexa from the grave. Will be a smile on Lackey's face as he has been avenged and Nade King goes one better. So that man advantage now turns on its head. I just don't want to go towards the A play and Anna even cuts down the numbers. All the remaining Nade King players are within proximity and they want to continue to challenge for this A site. But you can see Team Oni Pixel backing themselves away and being quite loud about it, but not within earshot of the players up close. Sponge is hunting for that information and may even catch Pimp in transition, but doesn't want to stick around and re challenge. B bomb site under siege and we'll see a plant go down most likely. They didn't know it was vacant, they didn't know it was so free. And while they will be faking between the two sites, they're not tapping the bomb alongside it. So I don't know that the challenge is valid. All about whether they can win the round. 24 seconds. Oh, they've mind game themselves out. Barry's gonna get caught, but doesn't get killed. He just jumps across with a knife nonchalantly and gets away with it because Anna was there to dig him out of that ditch. And now only Pixel's team have planted the bomb down. They have Sponge up close. They need to wait for Nade King. They do have a couple of smokes. HE, few flashbangs thrown in as well. This is going to be such a difficult 
Sight to retake. Sponge will need to have some impact with this scope. Wants to smoke off the shadow side. Allow him to focus his attentions elsewhere. Beautiful shot. Clicks the head of Berry clean off, but he's against their opposite number. Against Anna. But I wonder if five is the magic number as well before they see more rounds. A sight entry from Lackey. Peeked into Boiler and found the kill through the glass. Didn't matter. That would have also counted towards the kill only pixel through a wall, but already accomplished. Don't think you can double dip on that one. Because he's got so much room. He's, she's flanking all the way through the apartments, and Pimp has taken over the apartments on the, the CT side of the affair. This is really awkward, because both teams are going to think they have control of that territory, and that this isn't a possibility. Oh, she very nearly saw Anna, and that would have been the bomb alongside. So as soon as you see the bomb, that gives you so much intel. She's going to be sneaking around the back of them right now. Does she have the courage to peek in? She's playing this one so slowly. The thing is, though, if they can manage to stall away the T's long enough and they re-rotate back down middle, then Kasu's in such a good position, especially with Lord. They have a crossfire now established. The firing range, the firing squad's about to come in, and you are a goner, Anna. And that's the bomb that spills down. They've got a smoke for it as well. A complete disaster for Oni Pixel. Pimp's position is going to be pivotal, though. I mean, the fact that they're still challenging in from the, the mid spot. I mean, Pimp should have a free kill on at least one of them and break that crossfire down. Two on four, now just two down to three as Nexa gets the kill on the B side players as well. They don't have the bomb, but you can see how much pressure Nexa is applying and Sponge falls victim to exactly that. They've lost all of this territory. A two on four made two on one. Nade King has to be the one to clutch. Bruh, how is this possible? How have Nade King thrown this round away? Maybe their captain's gonna be able to clutch this one as he does damage through the smoke, but that's not gonna be good enough. And his confidence will be shot going in against Pimp and Nexa. Two juggernaut players in this tournament. And there's a smoke in his eyes. He doesn't have any flashes. He doesn't have really anything to go with him. But Nexa being low HP, if he can sneak around this corner and take him out for free, there's a way forward. But Nexa pre-fires him. Uh, to, to make the right calls and the right plays that they could, given that they were so separated. I would not fault Keisu whatsoever if she was mad triggered after that last round. Because what she did was just so huge for her team, and they still weren't able to grab it by the scruff of the neck. And now, trades back and forth. Kisu may be using some of that frustration with the Deagle. Gets one. In fact, pardon me, that's a, a P250, I believe, not the Deagle. And now Lackey is coming up through the banana side. They have at least got the T's stuck onto the side, but be careful what you wish for. With Sponge only on 6 HP, with Kisu only on 3 HP, it's hard to see how they get anything done from this position. Yeah, Barry as well, just checking every nook and cranny. Knew that Sponge was around there somewhere. It'd be quite sneaky, but no invisibility cloaks. And another round should be found here by Team Onipixel. They're even hunting for these extra kills. Lackey there to trade and get one kill on the exit. Can get his hands on an AK, but no further damage done. All is well here for Team Onipixel. I think they are... <laughs> Very likely to continue in this tournament flawless so far. Cobble, Team Nate King were just winning one round here and there. They maybe win a four spy and just unable to convert it further on. But it's a it's a it's a different ballpark when you you enter this area where the players. Yep, only one player surviving for Nate King in the last round, and it was K Su does mean that she's able to keep the AK-47 into round 14. And they have plucked out the first kill to kick things off here. And that was the frustrating thing about Nade King. I'm sure they were feeling it as well. They were so close yet so far. They got close in so many rounds against Loba. Never quite pulled the trigger when it counted, though. It does feel like more of the same here. However, they did pick up four rounds back to back as Anna goes for the pre-fire onto the balcony. I think that audio information was relayed from Pimp, but they just dropped down in time. And now Sponge gets the drop onto two. Puts the MP9 to use, taking out Oni Pixel. The captain is dead. And we'll see if the rest of the troops can rummage together a clutch again. Could have been a bit greedy there for Sponge to track down that kill, but he knew he did so much damage. And with the game he's been having, he knew he wanted to, to finish that kill off. Four on three, and they're still moving towards this A bomb site. Sue will drop the smoke to prevent a Molotov from flushing her out of position. And between her and Nade King, they have a great setup on this site. <sighs> Never mind, that setup breaks down <laughs> almost immediately. Lord is here to at least compensate. Someone is in the site. 
building that wall up and then just decides, ah, I've got a sledgehammer. Uh, Keisu has surgical precision with this AK. Already one player sprayed out. They know the last two players both on short side, pushing through quad. Here comes Sponge from above. It is death that he gets both. I assume he's playing right-handed. And just as he sort of jumps up on the boxes, doesn't see Ana in this blind spot. And she thinks it's actually all clear. It's here for Team Nade King. New challenges to kill somebody with a Zeus, but this game has been on such a knife's edge. Taking that risk, unless you're on an eco, will be quite hard to argue. Oh, yeah. Very unlikely in the last round of the half as well as Nexit decides he's going to do it alone. Flash comes in a bit late. There's a third player there. We're not expecting it. It's Nate King with the MP9. Can't carve a path through the second player. And that leaves Lucky on 14 kills. And the Orc to try and get it done. But Pimp puts an abrupt end to that. Not only because of the challenge, but because pistol round, rushing B, it's a good play. It's an age-old classic and Barry knows it. However, just his... A little bit of interruption has forced the T's away in full flight. They've turned tail, run back to middle again. The not before Barry splatters Lackey against the wall. Sponge though returns the favor. Anna's position has been compromised. Now looking to try and ring their way around. This is where the USP will prevail over the Glock, but they're getting closer. Too close for comfort. And Pimp will be bested by Sponge. Now at range, Barry, it's Laban, he gets punished. And a post plant comes in in a two on two. No kid available. They didn't bite down on the idea that it was a B play, and they were so ready for the eventual wrap round. Are oh, they going to anticipate Nexus position in the apartments? Sue is hovering for it. This was her spot on the CT side, and will hold in the post plant just as well. Only Pixel hasn't had a stellar game, and a one on two will be a tough ask, especially with no HP to work off of. He's down to two, and now I imagine down to zero shortly. Nobody even challenging. They don't even want to take that risk. You'll be stuck on these three kills, only Pixel, if I'll be damned. Another pistol round picked up, but this time by Team Nade King. T-sides are succeeding in the pistol. Excellent play when it comes to this pick control, both on CT and T. This is the moment you'd expect to because this is a fresh start for them. See if those moments were put to good use. Oof, that would have been one hell of a flick if Pimp had connected that one. Verticality came into question as well. Grenades tossed in, decent damage. About 100 in total between Sponge and Lackey. And our only pixel get aggressive. Barry oh. flashed out, makes the most of it. Two free kills to kick the round off. And makes up for missing on Sponge the round prior. I mean, this has propelled them into a very advantageous spot. I mean, weapons can be recovered as well, albeit SMGs. I'll take what they can get. Oh, I actually found the Galil round that smoke. I didn't even see it. Barry's got sharper eyes than me. And I'm younger. Molly out on the quad side. Oh, we have a Zeus in play. Anna wants to try and make someone ride that lightning. But I don't think she's going to get pressured anytime soon because it would appear the T's are actually pushing up onto the banana side where the two CT's defending are both on the CT side with a boosted player and a smoke in hand. This is going to be a very difficult nut to crack for Nade King's squad to pull in, because even if they do get success with the first frag, you're expecting there's going to be a lot of carnage in return, and Barry gets one. Beautiful flashbang toss in as well. Off inside, and as soon as Barry took contact, that's where Nexa just capitalized. All in hindsight, Team Only Pixel aren't looking back, only forward with their 12 to 6 round advantage. Pimp really trying to be a force to be reckoned with, just runs straight through the boiler, and the flashes are layered, so Barry gets the assist on both of them. Pimp is unlooked at, unshot at for all of those fights, and while Kasu tries to sneak on by, Pimp gets four. Barry, the completely blinded all these players, look at them, they're all closing their eyes, all covering their eyes as Pimp shuts them permanently in the round. So well played. Yes, it's against... Harder to get Lackey and Kasu to have the same performances on the T side so far, and that will continue to be the case in this round. Barry, uh-oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Deployed a smoke and realized that Sponge was sat inside of one. Realized a little too late. He's just oh. trying to extend an olive branch, you know, a ceasefire. Sponge said, nah, not today. We've got rounds to win.
have to capitalize here though Yumi we've seen time and time again that Nade King have had chances but they've let them slip by they still not dealt with so many of the threats you've got 21 frags for Nexa 26 for Pimp the latter of which is currently positioned on the site only pixel in pit as well still 45 seconds left there is time for Nade King but Anna is in hot pursuit she has to fall back though Yushi got spotted, the spam came out, and oh, what oh. a flick, a fast adjustment on Nade King, who's trying to be as elusive as possible. Still built space for Lord to trade, so still three on three, 30 seconds as well for Nade King to actually aggress towards one site, and Sponge still has the bomb. He's waiting for these rotates to come in, in anticipation of the B play, and he's right on the money. They have left this B A site completely vacant. Just getting in their own minds. Wait, he's crossing mid. This is the one way this, this round could turn tail up and Sponge doesn't take the challenge. It looked like he might have t tried to look for even more fights. I think it was to show that, that Nate King and Sponge in particular were just as confused as Oni Pixel were on those rotations. It nearly completely backfired, but they're still in with a chance. Oni Pixel going out. Typically the first player in. Again, he said himself he is one of the weakest players in this tournament. He accepts that. He embraces it. He wants to be the meat shield, the first player to fall in. But the problem here is the positions go unchecked to Nexa. Try if you're on a T side, you've got the post plant down. CTs go to save. Sacrifice one player to the gods. Get the challenge, but still win the round with that uh, bomb bonus as well. May not be required, though, because Lackey's decided he wants to turn up the pace. And Nexa slows him down, not before Nate King through the smoke will perforate him with the MAC-10. And Sponge goes to work elsewhere. It's complete chaos, but it's all going in favor of Nate King's team. Anna is the last one that stands in their way, and they have an opportunity to team kill. They should do it now, if anything. Again, it's, it's really the balance of how much money they have to save, because now with Sponge being gone, that's a third player. And they would have liked to have kept alive should they commit to the team kill. Don't even think it's on their minds. Oh, God. Oof. I mean, they don't want to hunt down Anna. They actually are giving her a lot of respect in that regard, but she continues to fight and take face. Should get caught out by Keisu, who was on a little bit of a lurk. But there would have to be a player that is literally sat there with like a notepad down next to them, checking for any, you know. Oh, yeah. First and foremost, you want to get that W. Especially if you're on the, the edge like Nate King is. They know it's important for them to get this win if they want to even compete for top four. 100%, yeah. Of course, we, we've already discussed how competitive all these players are, how much they want to win. Yes, there's content. Yes, there's, there's laughs to be had. But ultimately, this is a tournament and you can get a serious payday if you were to be successful here. So these guys and girls really just want to win. That's, that's priority number one at this stage. Only Pixel does get himself a frag. Not too bad with a 5-7, but instantly traded back. He'll take that. The frags have been far and few between here for Onipixel. Can't be said for the rest of the squad, but that's how this squad was designed. Boost up for Pimp. They're only on pistols, so realistically unable to get too much more. Damage is good onto Sponge, but Deagle will not be enough to kill. And Nexus still at the back of the bomb site. They didn't get that calm over fast enough. Lord had to pull out his gun, had the bomb pulled out instead, and Nexus got a third kill with the Deag. Never mind, this pistol buy seems to be working out in spades. And maybe, maybe double-edged sword, you know, like go for the challenge, but also mask the frustration that you didn't get any of those kills. <laughs> he stole <laughs> kills. But let's be honest, Nexus. So yeah, the earlier hunt and then losing the pistols. Oh, God. It does hurt. I think anyone that grinds CS would be in this position previously. Sponge does find a kill in the apartments, but only Pixel trades it back. So there is still control being held over towards the A side. And they have boiler presence as well. Anna finds the perfect time to strike. And chasing her down will be difficult. She's still actually fancying the idea. Only Pixel will get aggressive instead. And Cat finds a good time to strike. Man advantage still held here by Team Onipixel, only Lackey and Sue, but those are the two heavy hitters here for Team Nade King. Lackey low HP, but so crisp on all of these shots. Oh. Hey, just like that. Such a good effort, especially from Lackey at the end, but it was just a bridge too far. Barry was on point. This is it here. Big headshot, instantly has the right idea, but Barry Nade King, they're gonna try and get aggressive up mid. Pip misses the shot, but falls back to the Sanctuary of Anna. 
who is waiting with the AK-47. Flash is good. Spray on point two. Takes the head as he close lines Lord out of the server. The Keisu comes back and Sponge is making a go of this round. And get his hands on an AWP as well. Shotgun in the apartments there for Team Onipixel. And uh, this is the captain sitting inside of those apartments. Uh, Mag's not going to do too much at that distance and will get found by Lackey. So man advantage, actually, no, sorry. Little down to these two remaining players, but they're low HP and Sponge with this recovered AWP. Oh, must hit shot that will be flubbed lines. Lackey will try his heart out for this final play, but Barry is around the corner again and he again will play spoiler to Lackey's clutch. Another round for Team Onipixel, another win on the tally and they remain flawless so far in the GOAT League. That is...